Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wifey Wednesday. For reals. And we're playing StarCraft 1! Oh, I can't even tell you how excited I am for this. The, when I fired this up earlier to get everything working right, and that menu music came on, I got like the biggest nostalgia high I think I've ever had. Like even bigger than Resident Evil 2, because Resi 2 has been a part of my life forever essentially like I, I can fire up my playstation 3 right now and play it if i want but i haven't played starcraft 1 in probably almost 12 years now and i hope i don't embarrass myself too much by playing it on the touchpad and this game is rated m for mature like most of the other games we play so fair warning to any parents who have young children watching don't me Do you want me to read that out loud? Sure, why not? Terran Campaign, Rebel Yell. In the decades since the end of the Guild Wars, the oppressive Terran Confederacy has stood unchallenged in its supremacy over colonized space. All of that changed four days ago when a large alien fleet emerged from warp space and laid waste to the unsuspecting Confederate colony of Chao Sara. The Confederacy, fearing that the alien fleet's next target will be the colony of Marsar, has sent you to intervene. Acting as magistrate, you are to safeguard the colonists and keep their state from of panic from escalating any further. Yes! Welcome to Marsar, Magistrate. The equipment demonstration you requested is prepared and may be initiated at the Sounds like I'm coming out of the TV as well. Simply select start to begin the demonstration. Huh. Skip the demonstration what if we don't need the echo? Skip tutorial. Uh, who's the lady? That is an adjutant, and I think she's not really a lady she's an artificial intelligence okay press start i got it oh no oh no oh no honey what it thinks i don't know how to play the game oh god okay whatever i got this with a touchpad i can do this okay. I need to get some subtitles up on this screen so I can understand what's going on. One second. I like that, uh... Cursor's pretty nice. Ah, there we go. Uh, this game's so old, I don't even know if there is sub game subtitles. Game subtitles. Awesome. Yay, and there's building sounds, too. Yep. Man, don't have to make our own. 1998, this game came out. Wow. That'll be 20 years next year. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yeah. I math that right? Uh, 2018, 2008, 98. Yeah, 20 years. Wow. I might upgrade to the HD remaster of this game at some point, but for now, I think the uh, normal game is going to suit us just fine. It'd be better if I can get a mouse. Oh, uh, yeah, totally thinks I don't know how to play the game. Stop that. There we go. Oof, this is kind of tough with a touchpad. Ah! All right. I played Age of Empires with a touchpad. Nice. Build structures B. All right. If I can remember all the key bindings... Uh, it's actually picking his nose. Gross! <laughs> Gross! Gross! It's like I'm dealing with second graders all over again. Come on. <laughs> don't do that when people can see you. Space rednecks, man. Ugh, at least they're not eating it. Look at these Marines are standing around for. You guys need to get out of the way. Go do stuff. There's probably going to be something to shoot here pretty soon. Uh, can I... There's one more option I think I need to mess around with. Once again, waiting for that menu screen to pop up. Let's put the game speed up just a bit further. There we go. Okay. You can change your mouse sensitivity. Did you realize that? No, I did not. I should do that too. Right over there. Mouse sensitivity. Yeah, let's crank that down to yeah, about there. All right, uh, that's a bit more manageable. I just need to be able to do this all with keys. All right, continue what you were doing. Um, yes. I remember Chadwick used to have StarCraft battles. Yes, yeah. yes he did. And I think I walked in on a few of those. 
but I've never since my like first time going through a game in proxy <laughs> with StarCraft. Uh, gather 100 beam gas and build three supply depots. All right, all right, all right, all right. I did Warcraft. I didn't get very far, but I played that. Eh, very similar. Very, very similar. In fact, made by the same people. Hmm. Blizzard Entertainment. And they're still making games to this day. Go Blizzard. I think they either were recently bought or bought for themselves Activision. Hmm. Which is the guys did like Destiny and I think some of the old Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. Oh, Tony Hawk. Quit picking your nose! <laughs> Here, I'll click on a Marine so you don't have to watch me do that. I just kind of noticed. Like, I was okay <laughs> until, like, oh. Just until you noticed. Uh, all right, I understand. That's fine. It's like the kids who walk around with their hands in their mouth. <sighs> yeah. And I'm just like, and then you talk to me, and you want me to understand that? <laughs> Go wash your hands. That's gross. Hey. You, come here. Don't make me chase you. I need you to build a refinery. This is going to be so much better when I get a mouse. Like, a lot better. Like, I swear, I'm good at this game. I'm not pro. I'm not even semi-pro. But I'm better than what you're probably going to be seeing for this first episode. I kind of wonder if I could use a controller. but that, I think that'd be even worse. Try it. It might be worse, though. Uh, but I've seen people use some really crazy intense things. Like that one guy that used a steering wheel in, a, in uh, Dark Souls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was also a guy who I think played and beat Devil May Cry 3 using the Guitar Hero controller. And then there was, I think, the blind girl who actually beat Dark Souls somehow by using audio cues or something like that. Huh. It was nuts. Interesting. And then there were those two... That goldfish and that beta who played uh, Street Fighter 2, which I still haven't showed you that video. No, you haven't. We should have our cats battle in Street Fighter 2. I don't think I'm tech savvy enough to figure all of that out. It's too bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I'm gonna need more supply depots. Whatever. One more worker on that gas pile and we'll be fine. forgot that I'm playing this for the first time in 11 years and the game does not understand that I've played a lot of this game and StarCraft 2. Alright. Yeah. Set rally point over there. Not enough minerals. Uh, nope, not enough minerals. Okay. Oh, I thought I was hearing mana so I'm like, that's Diablo. <laughs> not enough mana. Wood, please. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, man. Stone, please. You know what? While all this is going on... Come here, Marines. Come here. need you to go stand over here next to these other Marines. So then I can select you all and... Hey, little black dude! Yeah. What? Oh, God. Oh, uh, the Marines think I don't know how to play the game either. All right. Yeah, control group one should be good, so I can, like, click this guy and then hit one. Yes! Awesome. Yeah, more guys down there. Oh, yeah. But this is StarCraft 1. I can only pick 12 guys at a time. Oh. Let's go see if they can find something to do instead of just standing around doing nothing. What are the... Circling! Ah, no! Nice job, guys. Do they automatically take out Zerglings? Yeah, they did you have to... Um, I can have them target a specific thing by right-clicking on it, if I could ever get there. Got a couple enough. injured dudes. Yeah, and I don't have any medics because we haven't hit the Brood War expansion yet. Or I can hit... Uh, what's the attack button in this game? A? Yeah. I can hit A and then, like, way down here in the corner and click... And they will just go in that direction and attack anything that they come across until they reach that point. Huh. Like those Zerglings. Fancy. So is that rectangle down there, rectangle down there, as big as your map? Yeah, this is the mini-map. Okay. And I'll send them again over into that corner. And go back up here. Need one more supply depot, I think. 
put that right there next to that one. You guys find anything? Uh, they just found the edge of the chasm. Okay. How about up in this darkness? No, I could play with cheats on. I think I'm better than that now, though. Like god mode and stuff? Yeah, there's a whole slew of cheats I could turn on. Like, I could make my entire map visible if I wanted to, but... There'd be the fun in that. Well, I did that a lot when I was a wee lad of, like, six, seven years old. Played this game where you were six or seven? Yeah, I win. Boom. Yeah, it was, like, the uh, first, no, second PC game I had, um, as opposed to Doom 95. All right, now we can move on to an actual mission mission. And we also have Gideon, our pet Zergling here. A really awesome skull sweater. Yep. Good evening, Magistrate. I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Confederate traffic has increased substantially within the system due to the recent protest destruction of the Chow Saw colony. The Confederates he does not have care. security on all outlying systems, and it's likely that this colony will be locked down as well. An encrypted Confederate trying to call me while I'm at dinner? <laughs> Greetings, Magistrate. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Confederate Security Forces Alpha Squadron. The Confederacy has quarantined this entire planet, and we'll proceed with a lockdown within 48 hours. You are to relocate your core colonists to the outlying wasteland. Oh yeah, you can also judge how good my voice acting is when I read the books to you. <laughs> James Rayner. Rayner has agreed to meet your personnel en route and escort them to the new wasteland site. Awesome. So we get Rayner. Yeah. So technically, when this game came out, the player character is essentially you as yourself. Like, they refer to you by either, like, your rank or title or whatever you are, depending on which campaign you're playing. It wasn't until later that they actually gave the player characters, like, actual characters so you remember from the second starcraft book the guy who offered rainer a job as marshall yes technically that's who we're playing as according to the lore that came out long after this game was published okay miles hammond i think his name was <sighs> yes i know i know how to play the game i promise Zero keys are really small. Rock and roll. Outstanding. Howdy, boys. I'm Jim Rayner, Marshal of these parts. All right, Rayner acquired. It's like a dragon. Ah. I'm not sure what that thing is. Eh, my sticky note fell. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Totally fine. Was the sticky note important? Eh, it was just reminding me of the hair appointment that I had on Friday. That you had on Friday? Had on Friday. That's better. <laughs> I'm not grammar so good. Oh lord, this thing has trouble differentiating between left click and right click. Alright guys, get out of the way. Wow, that's not a lot of minerals. Okay. Not enough I think my objective is up here somewhere. Hey, what are you doing? Get down there. Arr! Nose picker. Arr! Just get it. Thank you. Is there? Do I? I don't think I even have any gas mines. Huh? Rainer, go find me a gas mine. You're a local. You should know the area. This should be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Retreat, retreat. Retreat from the Zerglings. Okay. All right. You guys, you're expendable. You get to go deal with the Zerglings. Was it kind of like in Red Dead Redemption or whatever that if you get out of their circle and they won't chase you? 
Kind of? Like, the, uh... The AI, for, especially for these early levels, isn't really all that smart. So they might chase you only for a little while, but sometimes they will chase you really, really far. Oh, more minerals. Oh, good. Well, this is a problem. Alright, you, come here. Build me a barracks. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't send Rainer up there. That would have that would have been bad. If he dies, is it the, like the end of the mission? Yep, there's certain units you get at certain points of the game where if they die, it's game over. Because Rainer's a main character. Game over, man. Game, game over, over, man! There's actually a lot of aliens references and other things like that in this game. If you keep clicking on units, they'll start saying different things and get annoyed. And a lot of their annoyed quotes are quotes from, like, movies. Like, especially aliens. I think they got a bit of Starship Troopers in there, too. I think there's a cinematic later on that is ripped straight out of Starship Troopers. Oh, yeah, cinematics in here, too? They're, uh, they're 1998 cinematics, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I looked up some of the stuff in the remastered edition. Yes, infantry, I know. Uh, even in the remastered edition, some of the cinematics look really bad. <laughs> Set like Final Fantasy VII bad? Mm, maybe a little bit better than that. Okay, we're good then. Like Final Fantasy VIII? Uh, when did Final Fantasy VIII come out? After Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> yeah, I get <laughs> I know that much. Thank you. What year? Yeah. I don't remember. I mean, Final Fantasy VII was like 96, I think, wasn't it? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any gas. Final Fantasy VIII. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I want to say maybe 2000s, maybe? Because I know that Adam and James hadn't graduated yet from high school. Oh, okay. Because I used to watch them play that, and they were playing, uh... X. Final Fantasy X or whatever. Yeah. I remember playing that whenever James was in senior year. Oh, okay. Because Adam had left, and I finally got, like, an opportunity to actually play. <laughs> I wasn't very good at it, and I had to have James help me out a lot. No, Adam was still home. He must not have left yet. Because I think he did some Blitz games for me. Ah, Blitz I'd, ball. I don't do that. All right. That should be enough to go grab me this expansion up here. Go, go, go. Eh. go get them, boys. Give your lives for the Confederacy. Good job. All right. Oh, man. Falling asleep. That's no good. Okay, I don't even have the option to build fire bats yet. That's why there's no gas. How much, how much minerals is left on this? Not very much. <sighs> All right. Well, you have to like transfer that. Kind of. I mean, check this out. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can move your buildings. I want you to land. What about there? They're really, really slow. That's like the sound of levitating. Yeah. That's what that was. Okay, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need more supply depots. You, get on that. Yeah, just about the only structures you can't move are your gas refineries and your, your supply depots. And there's certain add-ons you can get for buildings that allow you to, like, produce other things. <sighs> Those can't be moved, but your core buildings, like your command center, your barracks, your starport, your machine shop, all of those can be moved. Oh man, we gotta run all the way over here now? Yeah. Yeah, keep harvesting. You just gotta gotta walk further. Deal with it. Work out, get strong. Uh, yeah, they're in powered suits. I don't know how much workout there's actually gonna be. But it's the sentiment that matters, I suppose. Yes, sir. Alright. More supply depot. We need a sizable force. That number at the top right of the screen. Can I play this game with a Wow. Wow, I can play it with a touchscreen. 
do it. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Nice. All right. I'm sure I could come up with a use for that. Eh? Eh? Your control group one. Awesome. This is the possibly the stupidest thing I've ever done. Whatever, it's amazing. <laughs> All right. Eh? Eh, 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 eh. Yep, 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 yep. I don't think there's a way for me to right click on this with a touch screen, though, is the problem. Yeah, probably not. Eh, eh, nice. I'm using the advantages of technology to its fullest. Oh, I just... Is that, is that what my objective is? What is my objective here? Train tin marines. Oh, okay. Sure. Why not? These tutorial missions, man, they're, they're kind of rough sometimes. Hey, what are you doing? Keep building. Build more supply depots. I do. But just kidding, you did it. Sweet. Yay, touch screen. I actually don't know how long I've been playing, so we're just going to keep going until we think we should stop. Because I can't see my timer. Receiving incoming transmission. That's 7.18. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, man? Hi, Rainer. Got your tucked in nice and tight. Provided you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends and we can keep away from those critters, they should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Barsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn. Listen, if we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. There's one I'll thing that bothers now. me about this old game. Rainer's unibrow. <laughs> Like, in reality, Rainer does not have a unibrow. <laughs> I was doing really good up until you pointed out that he had a unibrow. Sorry, it's it's just something that bothers me. Like, the uh, the updated version of this game redid all the, like, in-briefing character, like, portraits. And he doesn't have a unibrow on that one. And he doesn't have a unibrow on anything else. Okay. You say so, Rainer. Yeah. Uh... Awesome. I know what the buttons are. Now I can build fire bats. Cool. Requires an academy. And I get an academy... How do, how do, how do I do that? I don't remember. Eh. Uh, th yeah, yeah. Nope. Eh. Is, is that it? That's an engineering bay. Where's my academy, then? I don't understand. Move over a bit. Maybe I have to find it. All right, Rainer, time to do some scouting. This should be good. All right, there's, there's some gas. Cool. Sounds fun. Oh, uh, oh boy. Nope, nope, that's a Zerg base up there. Okay, don't need to go up there. Okay. Sounds fun. That was about up here. Oh, yeah. Oops. Ah. You got this, Rainer. Blow him up. Nice. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm gonna build fire bats, man. Come on, let me build fire bats. Fire bats are awesome. There. It's refinery right about there. Yeah. Alright, I got plenty of spots. So, start producing marines. And you start producing... Wait, what's that? What's that? That's also an academy. Man! I probably have to find the stupid thing. It's probably up in the Zerg area. That's probably what's going on here. You're not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Here, you guys... Go up there. Rainer here. Oh yeah. Rainer, you're already a bit wounded, so why don't, why don't you 
Come over here and chill. I said over here. Is it R Rainer? Rain Rain Rainer. I don't think you can fit over there, honey. <laughs> Fine, just chill out there. Chill out there beside the command center. That's totally okay. You guys even working? Come on, guys. You're killing me here. Killing me, Smalls. Ki killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Didn't I order you to build a refinery? Oh, I forgot. Forgot how quirky this game can be. There's a unit we'll get to play around with later. It's a Protoss unit called the Dragoon, and they are notorious for quite literally doing whatever the hell they feel like doing. Legend of Dragoon? Mm, no. Oh. No. No, Dragoons are a Protoss ranged unit, and you can like tell them be like, hey, go over here, and they'll be like, what? Uh, go up and around here? Oh, you no, do you want us to go around? No, you, uh, okay, what about, what about up over, yeah, okay, fine, we'll go over here. They just go wherever they want, and they don't care. Uh... If they weren't supremely useful, especially early game, I probably would not use them. Based on that fact alone. Alright, you know what? You know what? These minerals, these minerals ain't coming in fast enough. I gotta, I gotta do something about this. Alright, hurry up, hurry up. Build it, build that guy. Thank you. Here, can you, can I just get you to like land just like a little bit? Oh, get out of the way! Just land just like a wee bit closer to the mineral pile. Just like right over there. Thank you. Here, don't move out of the way! Ah, Rainer's fine. He's back there. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna, I wanna get all of StarCraft 2, and then I wanna get the, uh, the little, like, DLC packs you can get that have, like, YouTube celebrities as the announcers telling you things like not enough minerals and can't build there and stuff like that. I'll, I wanna get the Total Biscuit one. I, I just want a British man to yell sarcastic comments at me about how badly I'm playing. You would. Well, yeah, like, if you try to, if you try to build, like, this refinery not on a gas pile he'll say something along the lines of like uh i could be wrong but don't you need gas for that to work <laughs> it's great i would love to have that <laughs> for the low low price of 4.99 you can get total biscuit to yell at you while playing starcraft 2 which is totally fine with me actually all right yeah i think we're gonna have to go invade this third base how many how many of these do i have i want at least 24 marines let's see i've got math what is that uh, i have 10 and i've got 14 on this round is done yes, sir. <laughs> you know i can make this go just a bit faster if i build myself a second barracks and i'm probably gonna need an engineering bay too I apologize if there's people grinding their teeth watching this, but I am naturally a very slow and cautious StarCraft player, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. That and our award-winning commentary. <sighs> like, if I could make the game move faster than it already is, I totally would. But... The fast-forward button. <laughs> Well, I mean, the game speed is variable, and I've already got it cranked up as high as it can go. Because I'm used to that high-level competitive play. That's not true. The last time I played this game was in high school. Against Derek Flinsberger. Oh, Derek. Flinny. And it was a tie. Nice. He was playing Zerg, I was playing Protoss. Alright. Man, the mineral, mineral patches are really small. I might just have to take what I have now and run with it. All right, let's go. Attack. Some guys down there. Well, like I said, I can only select twelve at a time. But I need someone there other than Rainer. Base. Ah. Oh, this might have been a bad idea. Oh, look, bunkers. I like bunkers. Bunkers are good. Oh, not bad. Yeah, they did it. All right. What do bunkers do for you? You can put units inside of them, and it shields them while they can still attack. The problem is they can't move. Hey, another barracks! An academy, yay! Ooh, nice! Alright, got ourselves a second base. Alright, 
Yay, fire bats. Fire bats, yes. Got the people in red? Yep. These are flamethrower dudes. You remember Harnack from the first book? That's what I was thinking about. Yep. Yep, these guys are what Harnack was. Alright, well, now that we've got that... Uh, there can't be too much more Zerg around here. I'll stick these guys in this bunker. I said, stick these guys in this bunker. Thank you. And, yeah, the Marines could probably just chill here at this base. Because there's more Zerg right over there. Yeah, they should probably stay there. Alright. Now we're just going to mass fire bats. Means I'm gonna need more supply depots. Fire it up. Need a light. You got my attention. I haven't heard these guys for a long time. Is something burning? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Brisket? Yes. There might be Zergling. I don't know if that's entirely edible. Um, I know in the the deep lore of the StarCraft universe, after the events of StarCraft One and Brood War, and sometime before StarCraft Two, uh, people on I don't think it was Marsara. It was somewhere else. Had annual Zerg hunts because there were Zerg. Like out hiding in the badlands and stuff like that. Did right. they eat them? I'm going to assume they did. Like I know they took skulls as a trophy. I, I don't know what they did with the meat. I don't even know if the meat is edible. That's uh, that would be a question to ask the developers. I think. All right. Well, we've got control group one of fire bats here. Need a light. Uh, uh, uh. Move here. Thank you. Two units of fire bat and one gym rainer should be plenty to finish out this mission, I think. Need a light. Rainer here. Need a light. Right on. You much rainer, where are you? There you are. You move here. Just run over the SCVs. They're easily replaceable. Alright, this, this isn't StarCraft 2. I can't mass select buildings. I gotta stop trying. I have to click on them one at a time. I was wondering what you were trying to do. Yeah, in StarCraft 2, if you have, like, multiple of the same type of building, like barracks, you can just mass select them and just mash, like, the marine button or the fire bat button. Uh, of course, more supply depots. I was gonna ask if you were gonna make more of those. Yeah, that... I don't know if I explained it or not, but that number up there at the top right that 44 or 44 that's your supply cap that's how many units you can have and you raise that supply cap by building things like supply depots or if you're playing zerg build overlords or if you're playing protoss you build pylons yeah marines get out of there how many of you are there 12 all right you're control group two and rainer you are control group three so Group one, advance, attack in a general, uh, that way direction. Group two, attack in general, that way direction. And group three, attack in a general, that way direction. Yes! Single file, boys. I like it. Oh, it's a lot of certain things. You, got my attention. what are you guys doing? Group two, what are you doing? Why are you not moving? You're leaving your friends out to die, group two. 
This is terrible. It's a tragedy. Are the things with spines the scythe things that we fought? The hydralisks? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I might need more dudes. Trout for Rainer. Yep. <laughs> They're doing remarkably good. Ish. No, no, Rainer, you're you're blocking them, man. You gotta gotta get out of the way. There you go. Phone's ringing. Yep. I will pause. Sorry. It's okay. It happens. Gideon can look upon me judgmentally for killing his friends. Was it important? It's okay. Back to it. All right. I do. We read that in the book. Yes, we did. Except in the book, I don't think they had fire bats. That's fine, though. I was just, you know, throw down them weapons. And throw and then down. at the end is supposed to be an exclamation point, but it didn't seem very... Yeah, exclamation E. Yeah. Alright. Figure out what our next mission is. Uh-oh. Oh, this is what I think it is. It is 7.30. Okay. Oh, man. I, I remember this cinematic. Holy crap. This is going to look terrible. And me and Jacob Doles used to pull at this one back and forth to each other all the time. Hey, Sarge. Why we always gotta listen to this shit for anyway? Because I'm in charge, that's why. Oh, I don't see that though. We can't reach the page. Hey, what's that? Put it over in a second. Roller. Like you mashed some poor fella's dog, Sarge. He sounds like Bebop. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. Uh, he was about this far in list. Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, dear. Oh. oh. Final Fantasy 
Fantasy VIII had better graphics than that. <laughs> I got your message, Magistrate. <sighs> oh, survive for 30 minutes? Alright. Probably be the last one. Yeah. You have a real good day. Transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zerg forces. Distress beacon activated at 1220. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that little black dude, but I need to lean forward so I can like use the keyboard and stuff. All right. Defense missions. I'm actually good at these. <laughs> All right. Am I good at these using a touchpad? Probably not. But we're going to find out. All right, go fix that. You guys just might want to go ahead and pile in there, even though it's on fire. This game does have really good music. I do enjoy it. Uh, right, okay. This guy's got some pretty sweet shades, unless those are, like, bionicle eyes or whatever. I think they're those, uh... The kind, yeah. The, the, <laughs> ki <laughs> the kind that, uh... Morpheus wears? Yeah, uh... Butterfly Man? That's what they're called. Ponce Nays. That's the, uh, proper... Uh, Ye old and English term for the them. The brand name is the butterflies. Yeah. Butterfly yeah. man. Yeah, those things. Oh, yeah, look at all those minerals I have. Nice. Good minerals. I have. I'm totally okay with that. Because I'm going to need to be producing a lot of marines. And missile turrets. Gotta have them missile turrets. Well, if the Zerg just leave me alone for a little bit longer, I'll be good. I'll be totally good. What are you guys doing? Work! This is no time to be lounging around on the job. And good lord, we're all gonna die here if you don't do your job. I don't wanna get dead. Yeah, me neither. I've got like... Oh, oh. here they come. Ha <laughs> ha! Nothing for you here, Zerglings. Yes, Alright, you build this build here. I, I said... Hey, come on, touchscreen. Touchscreen, work with me here. There you go. <laughs> Goodness. Don't tell me you can't. You can if, if I say you can. How many we got in there? We got four in there. Got four in there. You know, you might as 
you might as well start setting up a few more of those things, because we're going to need them. Minerals. I need them. I really just need a mouse, but I need minerals too. Nope, nope. Just, just those guys. Just, th just them. Get in that thing. I had medics, but I don't get that till the next game. Medics would be so nice. Dude, seriously, why don't you stand there? Get to work. Get to work. Thank you. You too. Get to work. I'm not gonna have you lollygagging. That's a word I use a lot. As in. Basically, not at all. <laughs> Before you go back to work, we need more supply depots. Wonder, can I Let's see if I can pull this off? If I can shift click like this. Nope, I guess shift clicking is not a thing in this game. Fair enough. What did shift clicking used to do, or will do once? Basically, if I need to build a lot of the same thing, like bunkers or supply depots, in StarCraft 2 you can hold down the shift button, and then click, and then like select another location and click there, and select another location and click there. Ooh, what is that? That is a mutilisk. They're very dangerous. I mean, well, all the are dangerous, but mutilisks are especially annoying. Do you, you don't have people inside that bunker, or do you? No, not yet. I need more supplies so I can build more marines. I wonder if I can just rally them to the bunker automatically. That'd be nice. I just, I don't have enough people working the mineral line. You know what, just, just... Washer's peeing again. <laughs> I have no idea why it does that. I really don't. Me neither. Maybe I'll have to call the owner. Yeah. You gonna get in? Nope, you'll just go to it. Fair enough. I can't tell if the wind is really, like, it's blowing outside, or if it's raining outside. Uh, I think it's doing a little bit of both. Ooh, advanced structure. Ooh. Uh, no, I don't really need a factory yet. No, no need for that. I can't get anything good out of it. Not that vultures aren't good. They're just not particularly useful to what I'm trying to do here. Ooh, engineering bay. That'll be handy. Um, I just realized it was counting down. Yeah. Yeah. Keep mineraling. Come on. Actually, you know what? You. Uh, maybe I'll repair. Yeah, go fix that. And you get in there. Whilst you're up there, build another one. Right about there should be good. And you, even though there's nobody in that second one yet, get me a third one ready to go. And no, you're you're on gas duty. Ugh, just minerals. Never have enough of them. Can you build more guys to harvest minerals? Yeah, I'm gonna eventually build a lot, but thing is, there's so few of them right now that my mineral income is not Your great. Your forces are under attack. What? Ah, mutalisks! Screw you guys. The reason mutalisks are so annoying is their attack bounces between targets and damages like a lot of people in a short amount of time. So, in StarCraft One, if you want to win as the Zerg. Just build a ton of mutalisks and just keep throwing them at your enemy. The problem will eventually solve itself. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna need more missile turrets. Hey, you go up here. 
Can you build up there? That'd be great. Get, get up the ramp. Can't build turrets up there, apparently. Damn. That's that's a problem. Okay. Because Mutalists are eventually going to start coming over those walls and attacking my workers. So, I guess what I need to do is build turrets. Ugh, can't fit can't fit that in there. All right. I'm just going to have to build them in and around my base. You make me another barracks. And this barracks. Keep popping up those marines. And you get to work. Base is under attack, honey. You want a piece of me, boy? Nice. Okay. Why are you just standing there? Get to work. Build the thing. Right there. Thank you. You. All right. You know what? You're getting permanent duty up there. And you. You're on permanent duty over here. And you guys, get in that thing. Probably stand back there. It's probably safer. Ugh! Splidey pose. Why? I'm starting to remember why I cheated so much at this game. Just to get rid of the little annoyances. But I'm better than that now, I swear. It's just the wind. Nothing to worry about. Upgrade. Is it the wind or is it a mouse? That roll of that package of toilet paper over there is directly above the vent. Oh, and there's, why? Yeah. The fire has it waiting to happen. I don't know. You want me to go fix it real quick? Yeah. Okay. It's like how the blue thing ended up. Um, it wasn't actually directly like covering the vent, but it was close enough that there was a little flap hanging oh, off okay. that the air was. You're gonna have to move, little black dude. Got him. Okay. Ugh. Anything bad happen while I was away? Um, no, I was too focused on toilet paper. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, you guys get to work, and you just just keep building supply depots. Just keep at it. Supply depots actually became really good in StarCraft 2. There was an ability that eventually... Oh, my gas was depleted. Whatever. You gained the ability to lower your supply depots underground so units could, like, walk over them and stuff. So you could actually make a wall of supply depots outside your base and, like, lower them whenever you're going to send your army out to attack and just pop them back up again to keep your enemy from getting in. Nice. So after you run out of gas for the guys... Oh, your base is under attack, honey. Up. Oh, boy. Well, uh, you. Fix. <laughs> fix it faster than they're damaging it. Okay. Well, in this game, when your Vespian Geyser gets depleted, they basically just start harvesting gas in half of what they would normally harvest it. Like, I think each unit pulled eight at a time or something like that. Or it might have been four at a time, I don't remember. But, like, now you can see it's down to increase me just by two every time a guy puts a thing in the command center. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Freaking knew it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, that's bad. This is a problem. Guys. Guys, this is a problem. <laughs> we have issues. Uh, I hate to do this to you guys, but I need you. Oh, this is really bad. This is really hard to do on a touch screen. You can do it, honey. I believe in you. Get them. Get them, Marines. Why don't you build me fire bugs? Uh, fire bats can't attack air units. Oh. Oh, crap. Uh. Uh. Oh, I don't want to pull defense away from that one, too. You. You four. At least not attacking my command center, I suppose. You start popping out more. Four Marines should be plenty to take on two Mutalists, right? Yay! Oh, thank God. You guys. 
guys get back in there. Oh no, they killed off all of my workers. Ugh. All right, you, you're basically almost dead anyway, so uh, start, start building more missile turrets. You do the same thing. Missile turrets. I need them. Oh, no. I'm broke. I'm so broke. I gotta survive another ten minutes. You can do it, honey. Ten minutes. Alright, go get in there. I just have to survive ten minutes. Yep. And I'm not gonna cheat. If I lose, well, I'm just going to have to end this night on a lose. Which I hate doing, but... It's okay, honey. We can win elsewhere. I know. You want a piece of me, boy? Outstanding. I cannot believe how hard this actually is without a mouse. Like, this is nuts. Nobody in that one. Great, great. Got some dudes in that one, so that's doable. Let's. We're gonna repair that barracks. Uh, it's not going anywhere at the moment, and it takes minerals to repair things. Structures will only start burning down if they go below. I think. If they go below one third of their maximum life. So the fact that they're on fire is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just kind of a visual indicator letting you know, hey, this structure is damaged. All right, you need, you need another missile turret. Can we stuff one back here? Yeah, good. Fondo is super adorable whenever I went upstairs. Yeah. She was on the bed. Uh, I love Fondo. Lounging on a pillow. As she is wont to do. And then I cuddled with her a little bit and got some flops out. Good. Her and Sherlock were getting into it last night. Duking it out? Yeah, I don't know. Playing? I don't know. She was growling and hissing at him. Oh. It was weird. I think it was because he was trying to, like, get in the box with her or get her out of the box or get, like, a toy that was in the box that she was playing with. I don't know, but every time he walked back there and I heard, like, thumping in the box, I'd hear, like, Rawr. And then, like, swatting and knocking around and stuff. They were playing today. That's good. Up here on top of the TV stand. <laughs> yeah, they do that a lot, actually. More Marines! Quickly! I got more barracks as need filling. Yeah, okay, I got a good line of missile turrets going on. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, I saw that this time. Something's going on. Yeah, face is under attack. Yep, over there. You guys are just gonna have to just stay out of my base. You're not welcome here. We don't serve your kind here. You're Zergs. They'll have to wait outside. We don't want them here. Five more minutes, honey. Yep. You're doing really good. Come on. You. Hey. Hey, I need you. Hey. Build me another barracks. That one's full. That one is just missing one. All right, get in there. So, all right. You guys aren't needed over there. I lied. Go over here somewhere. Here-ish. Yeah, that, that back barracks needs more people. What are you doing? Hey, get back to work. get this thing while I'm at it. Get in there. You two, go up here. Alright. Well, you have like a big hurrah one, a few... Uh, yeah. yeah, pretty much. Like this right here should be perfectly adequate to stave off whatever else they're going to throw at me. It's this area right here I'm worried about that maybe I don't have enough missile turrets. 
So, get another one. Yep, yep, okay. You're not needed over there. Uh, yeah. Stand here. Just get a bunch of marines over here, just in case. Not enough minerals. Two more minutes. Oh good, this is getting done. Let's have a look over here, because why not? Wow, to reveal the whole lot of nothing except burrowed zerglings. Awesome. How much energy I got in this thing? Oh, I can do that again. I'm gonna find their base, just, just for giggles. How about over here? Oh, yep, found part of it. Your base is under attack. Under Arr, stop it. Done. Yeah, yep, yep, okay, I see him moving out. Hey guys! Oh dear. Yeah, there's there's a lot of them. It is a good thing I built those missile turrets. Oh boy, we're probably gonna lose barracks. Not barracks bunker. Will the Marines get? Okay. Yeah, they they still survive. Just just they lose their bunker. Oh my God, there's so many of them. They, I oh I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Apparently we need more bunkers. Yeah. Just keep keep producing marines. Oh boy, they are in and around my base. At least they're only on one side so far. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think if I lose all my stuff, that's the lose condition. So if they just want to chew on my supply depots for the next 20 seconds, then that's, that's totally cool with me. I don't I think I got this one. Air quotes. One. <laughs> oh, yay. Good. Dropships are here. Oh, hey, guys. There they are. <laughs> that was really hard without a mouse. <sighs> cool. All right. <laughs> units. They produced a lot more units than I did. All right. We killed a lot more than they did, though. I did. Do I get a cutscene after this? Eh, well, we'll listen to the next briefing, then we'll quit. Can we pause it before the next briefing? Not or will really. it replay the briefing? Uh, I can have a replay. It'll replay the briefing at the uh, beginning of the next mission, when we start it up again. Yeah, so basically I got fired for working with Arturus Manx. Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Ma Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet. And so are we. However, there is one thing I would like to do before we leave. I want you to raid this colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederate's evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. <laughs> so one question before we go, honey. What? How does my voice acting stack up against the real thing? I prefer your voice to uh, them personally. Are you saying that because you're biased and you're my wife, or is that a legitimate opinion? Uh, some of their voices are really boring. Like whose? Uh, Duke's, for one. <laughs> but maybe it's because he's a bad guy and I just don't like him. Well. And you make Rainer sound better, too. I disagree with that one, but okay. I'll, I'll, I will take that as a compliment. You're welcome, husband. Yeah. Anyway, thank everybody for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, go donate to my Patreon page, and we will see you next time. Bye!